Was that thunder? That was thunder. Let's go the 1 to 10. How cold are your feet right now? I'm up at 8 already. <laughs> I think that's ice on top of it. That was very nasty, yeah, okay. I'm not sure what we're doing. No, I know exactly what we're doing. It was, it's a little bit of a, a speculation. It's not speculation, it's English weather. And we had a chat in the car and we went, let's catch an English fish. Mm. A noxious one, but it's an English fish. It is. Good old English redfin perch. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing, Nod. Queensland's on, are we? This is pre-season. It is, it's a warm up for what's coming. We're traveling through New South Wales and we are gonna end up in the snowy mountains at some point. So we thought, well, it's time to acclimatize. This is pre-season footy, so basically for us, getting ready. And we're gonna chase a fish at the same time, get another one on that list. All right, I think we've gotta go there. I heard thunder. My feet are so cold right now. Not fun. Mm. I'm loving this. This is part of the uh, climatization process, Nico. Get your balls wet. I don't want them wet. It's brass monkey material. Got my leader back. You tie a leader for me? No. I've got no feeling in my thumb and ball fingers anymore. Oh. We've obviously failed here. We're giving it a red hot crack. Give it a go. We're freezing cold. Um, we could. It's like two in the afternoon, we could go and put the boat in at the Karkor Dam. Try and blade one up. And find they're in exactly the same mood. Not catch one there either. Or we could just admit that we failed and go to Sydney. Sydney does sound boring. I don't know if it's our nature to do that, Nodge. To give up. I don't like giving up. I don't like being beaten by fish. Let's go to Karkor Dam and then find accommodation around here somewhere. If we're going to fail, we might as well fail properly. <laughs> Decisions mate. We're going to go put the boat in somewhere. All right. Let's get out of here. It's possibly been one of the toughest days we've had on the road. It's freezing cold. There's wind turbines on the hill going off their rocker. I reckon wind chill factor's right up there. We just want to catch a redfin. We set ourselves out to do it. One shot, one opportunity. This is it. Really? Yeah. I don't know what that is, but that could be a big school. I fish. think that could be a big school fish, actually. Let's drop down in. Okay, so let's just drop down. At the moment, we're looking for signs of schooling redfin on the sounder. And then our approach is basically annoyance. We've got little blades, metal blades, put them down where the fish are at the right depth. And then ever so slight little taps, just kicking that blade into action, putting the vibrations out, and hope, just hoping that really the competition and amongst that school of fish gets the better of them because I'm pretty sure that what we've seen today, they're not really active, they're not really chomping, so it's really an annoyance type yep. approach. See if we can uh, get them to open their mouths or even just bump it with their head because there's enough hook points on there to... Try and jag them somewhere. What Jesus, it's cold. Oh. There you go. Tell you what, Nico, tell you what. I caught one. <laughs> I caught one. Oh. It's by far the least impressive redfin I've ever caught. <laughs> but the way the day's gone and the challenge to catch one of these things, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm very satisfied too. Do like, you want to touch it? No. I think oh, it could possibly be warmer than what we are right now. It actually is. <laughs> it actually is. There you go, the English redfin perch. They're really good looking fish. Basically, a noxious fish that's been introduced and they love the Aussie conditions. They really go to town in the way they breed and they survive. Um, we don't throw them back for that reason. But um, it has eating qualities, go. They, I've heard, I've never actually eaten one, but I've heard they wanted the, the better eating of our freshwater species. But, Nodge. you got one too? Jag me. Interesting, little, little, both of them chin hooked. We have a pair of English redfin perch. The pigeon I'm, pair. I'm excited. <laughs> Well done. Well done. How you going, Yvonne? Yep. Get any bites off yep. him? Yep, got him. Got a bite? Got a little fish, got I think. Got a fish. I think there's a little fish here. Good work. They're getting smaller. I believe they are. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that they is are. summing up the day of fishing right now. Come for a look. 
Got him. Yes, got him. Got him. He's a slightly better one too, I reckon. Stay on. He does look a little bit better, Norwich. He's a bit better, this one. I changed lures. You did? I see that little sneaky move you done. I, I went with the tone of the day. It's an ice jig. And that is what we were actually trying to achieve, I think, Norwich. It's an ice jig. You know what I got? Ice fishing. You know, though, I think that's actually going to inspire me to do. I'll put on the same lure. I'll like put on a soft plastic. Sorry. Yeah, okay. They're good looking fish. They are a good looking fish. They're very proud looking fish, aren't they? they? Are. They've been, so they've got that bass, bass body type they shape. They do. Somewhere between a peacock, I suppose. Peacock yeah. bass and Aussie bass. Yeah. And like those big red fins. I spent a lot of time as a kid chasing them in Canberra. So I've got a, like, actually got a little soft spot for them. We used to catch them on the fly. And oh, I liked it because they, they were very aggressive and they'll attack lures. And just, uh, and just a good looking fish. Great looking fish. Yeah. Bravo us for braving <laughs> out this. Sometimes you do get some sort of a reward for doing stupid things like stupid fishing things. in negative degrees. <laughs> it's got to be negative degrees or what? How's your lips going? Are you starting to struggle to speak? Yeah, I can't speak. I can't tie knots. I can't hold my rod. All right, oh, I'm happy with that because that, that kind of made a day good. It did. A slightly more chunky one. Big tick in the box. We caught an English redfin perch in this wonderful English weather. We're not in the New England district. That would make too, too far already, but we're close. <laughs> close enough. All right, let's go catch another one. Any good score? Yep, I want. Yep, there I am. Yes. You want? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, they're not monsters, oh. but. Little skill size fish. Oh, fat. Little fatties. Little fatties. Little fat ones. I'm just taking my lure out because it was a bit hooky where it was. Oh, I'm struggling to feel. Basically, any of my extremities struggling to speak. <laughs> That's it's first for you. Not. I know, that's the first for me. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> we've, we've ticked them off. <laughs> I don't think we need to keep going with this. It's one of the most challenging days of fishing that I've had on tour with you ever. I, I think, think this is one of the silliest <laughs> things we've did. probably done. All right, let's get the heck out of Dodge. All right, I'm done. All right.